Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeToGeek.com and today we're going to talk about TrueNet Scale, NextCloud, and we're going to use the TrueCharts catalog to install NextCloud. If you missed my last video, I went ahead and did it with the official one, and now we're going to try TrueCharts and see the difference. Maybe there's difference, maybe there's not. We'll find out. All right, let's go check it out. Boom! Here we are. Okay, so I am in the application second section and over here in the blue you will see the official plugin that you will get on your true nas now on the, in the yellow you will see the true chart sca stable version that you can install so if you click on that guy it's going to give you this information and it looks like they've been updating this guy it's had several eight updates since uh this came out if you haven't checked out how to install the true charts Go check out that video. In other words, let's get scoring. All we're gonna do is click install, and it's gonna walk you through the Docker installation of this. We're gonna call it NC2, and you can again pick the versions you want here. We're gonna choose this latest version. Go ahead and hit next. And then controller, we're gonna just leave all these things just Default. We're just going to next, next, next through it all just to see what we get. We choose to do nothing. Um, so, add me user, replace this, and that. so this is this is what we got, right? Let's just use admin, and then I'm going to use this because that's what we did on our last one. What the default one is. Um, you're going to want to put a secure password here for your installation but for the purposes of this this is going to work choose your time zone all this good stuff here trusted proxies so i'm going to leave all this stuff the same and see what happens okay um did it not like that okay well so network we're going to leave this as simple again i'm just going to next through this so you get the simple version. We'll go into deep dives about configuring these things later in our videos, but let's just next this on through. Again, we're gonna do the storage persistence. We're gonna just leave this all the same. We're gonna click, click next. And that's gonna give us through the, the ingress. Again, we're gonna leave this all just at the default, no changes. Security, we're gonna do the same thing here. And then resources, we're gonna hit next on this guy again. And then add-ons, we're gonna just leave these as default again. Advanced, one more time on the next. All right, we're finally through this guy. And as you can tell, if you watched my previous video, this has had a lot more options that we could mess with than the default one. So. Let's see what happens here. So admin change me. Just keep that in mind when we pop in here on this. And here's a summary of everything that was done there. So let's go ahead and hit save. And then it's going to fetch the container. Create it all up in the pod and everything and install everything. And then when it's all said and done, it'll turn this service on. And then we should have a link to go ahead and open the portal. Be patient, this might take a few minutes. Uh, again, this is a, not exactly a fast machine, so it might take a little while too. But we'll just watch this, get through it, and everything will be great. All right, here we go. So now we have it up and running. Here it is over here. Um, these are the ones that I had. This is the previous one. And we're gonna go ahead and click on Web Portal. It'll open up a new tab. Again, you notice that port is way up there. We're gonna log in. Admin with our change me. Log in and boom, here you are at your stuff. Let's go over to files. Take a look at this. We'll open a picture. There's a picture of a bird. Let's run the video. There's your picture, your video, right? Um, Documents, 
Let's go over the markdown document. Boom, there's your markdown. Um, let's go ahead and open the docx. Again, that does a download, so that's all good. And that is it. So this is up and running, and both of them seem to work just fine. And I think, um, honestly, it looks like the through chart one is doing more as far as, as uh, keeping up to date. So anyway, so this has been the TrueNAS with Nextcloud using the true chart uh, catalog. And uh, so like I said, it, it seems to have several updates. So maybe they're going to rev that real quick. So if you want to be more on the cutting edge and more up to date, you might look at that. They seem to be working. There was a lot more options on there. So we're probably going to do some more videos to explore that later. Um, it'll be pretty exciting. So again, I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Every little bit helps. If you want to buy me a coffee, that'd be awesome too. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.